TikTok is a very popular platform. I'm seeing some amazing numbers on this site. So view counts and number of followers and everything is just astronomic compared to something that's relatively dead like Instagram, at least from what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, even from my own account, a lot more followers and activity on TikTok than other platforms. If you're like me, you're shooting on a normal camera in a 16 by nine ratio so that your footage is wider than it is tall. And I'm gonna show you how to make that into a TikTok video, which for TikTok, you wanna have a vertical video. You can put a 16 by nine video up, but it's gonna be just tiny in the frame. You can't rotate the app. It doesn't rotate like other apps do. It's just gonna have a little 16 by nine video with a lot of black area above and below it. And that's not very good. So I'm gonna show you how to make the vertical video from a horizontal video like this. So what I have here is just some, some clips from a video that I shot in February before the coronavirus hit. So I'm gonna take some of this video here and put it into a new timeline. It's just the easiest way to deal with it. So go to your media page. That's if you go to media, it's a shift to, I don't have my icons turned on on the bottom here just to save space. So I have a whole folder full of timelines here. I'm gonna make a new timeline by right clicking and saying new timeline using selected clips. Just call it, I'll call it TikTok. But you wanna go in here, use custom settings. And this is only in Resolve 16 and up. This doesn't exist in 15. So uh, if you don't, don't have 16, it's a free download. You can do everything I'm doing here in uh, the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So go to format and change this right here to custom, first of all, at the very, very top, and then make this 1080 by 1920. So what that means, it's gonna be 1080 wide, 1920 tall. Whatever your timeline frame rate needs to be, you might be at 29.97, you might be at 25 and just hit create. This is my new timeline. I'm gonna double click on that and I have an empty timeline, but I'm gonna go back to my other timeline that has all my footage, which I call my new HDR grade. I'm grading in HDR, but I'm outputting in Rec 709, which is standard for all these social media platforms like TikTok. I'm gonna go back to my TikTok video here. I just copied my video here by selecting it and I'm gonna paste it in here. So now I'm in my new timeline and you can see I have this, this vertical video space here, this black here, that's what I'm going to have in my output. If I go to my output page, this is exactly what Resolve is going to output. So I'm not changing any settings here. It's going to give me a 1080 by 1920 video on my output. So let's go back to our edit page here. And like I said, if you upload a 16 by 9 video to TikTok, it's going to look just like this. You have this tiny little box with a lot of black on the top and bottom. That's not what we want. So the easiest way to get rid of that is to just come over here, select all your clips, and just zoom it in, right? Now, if you want, you can go all the way up if you go to three, that covers most of the frame. You actually go have to go a little higher to cover the entire black, but you don't need to do that because obviously you lose a lot of your image here. It's hard to see your subject. So I usually just either go to three or you can for a wider shot, if you want to stay wider, you can keep it wider. You can go to here, anything you want to do. I usually use three because the, the top and bottom here, there's nothing up there anyway besides like the TikTok logo and down here you have your text. There's a bunch of icons on the right hand side as well. So three works pretty well. You don't really even notice that there's black on the top and bottom. The next thing you wanna do is look at your footage and make sure that your subject is always centered because sometimes when you apply these crops, you've realized that you weren't shooting with your subject centered in your frame. So you have to come in here and make an adjustment. Like this one's a little bit off at, the, at that one point, but for the rest of it's okay. So if, like, if it was off like this, you just like that clip, come over here and, and shift it over because you've got a whole lot of space there to play with. See, your, your frame is much wider than this. So if you wanted to, you could do that. But I think I'm just going to leave it because she moves in the frame and by the end she's centered again. So I think that's actually pretty good. One trick you can do is I have a little helper here that I've made in my utilities. It's just a center line and this is just a vertical line. Let me make it bigger. That tells me what the center of my frame is. As you can see, she's dead center right there. And here you can see how she gets off, and then she drifts into center, and then she goes a little bit right of center towards the end, but that's fine. But for this clip, she, she again, she's mostly centered for the for most of that clip there. So that's a really nice trick to have. And I'll, I'll make this downloadable, this um, center line. I have this in one of my other videos. I did this kind of video for Instagram. I actually have two versions. The older version, which works, but it's not as good as my newer version. I'll link that down below so you can find that one as well if you're outputting for Instagram. But for TikTok, this is a really great setting to have. So you got your vertical video and you've got your video zoomed in. And then all you have to do is go to your output, 
I'm using uh, H.265. You don't have to do that. You can use H.264. Um, it's very common. Here's a trick too. Now, a lot of people will tell you that Resolve is really, really poor at outputting H.264 or H.265. And I'm here to tell you that that's actually not true. If you come down here, usually by default, when you select H.264 or H.265, the quality is set to automatic. And in that setting, yeah, it's really poor. It has a lot of compression artifacts and blockiness, and it, it does not look good. But all you have to do is click right here, restrict to, and then set this. By default, I think this was up at like 80,000 kilobytes per second, which that's way higher than it needs to be. I set it to 15,000 or even 20,000 here, and that gives you a nice small file size because H.265 is a really efficient codec, but also a lot of good quality. 20,000, it looks really darn good. And this is coming straight out of Resolve. You don't have to send it through Handbrake to get a good H.264 or H.265. Resolve can do a really good job. So these are my settings right here. Restrict to 20,000. Encoding is main, keyframe automatic, frame reordering. I don't even know what this stuff down here does. I just know that by setting this to a good number made all the difference for my output. So then you come down here and just make sure that it's got your output. You can see that this is too wide because my, my other clip there went all the way to the end. So the way to fix that is just to make sure you got snapping turned on and then go back to your output and it'll automatically resize your output to that there. there. Add that to your render queue and then just hit start render. And that's going to give you a perfect TikTok ready video from DaVinci Resolve. I've just rendered my video. So if we go to that folder location, you can see here for about 24 seconds worth, it's about 65 megabytes, which is pretty small relative to um, 4K video. And you can see when I preview it here that I've got a nice vertical video with a little bit of black on the top and bottom. But like I said, when you get this into your TikTok app, it looks great. And you can see this H.265 Looks really good, a lot of detail, no compression artifacts, no weird banding or blockiness or anything like that. This is good quality video straight out of Resolve. So there's an easy way to get this video onto your iPhone. I'm not sure about Android, and I'm not sure if you're on Windows, but when you're in uh, OS X, you can go down to Share, AirDrop, and if you're on the same Wi-Fi network and you have Bluetooth turned on, boom. Click that, it starts a transfer, and on my phone, it's gonna pop up, boom, right there, and you can see it's playing on my phone. So then what I'll do is I'll exit that app, go right into TikTok, hit the plus button down here in the bottom, hit the upload to the right of that record button, and then it'll be my video right there. Hit next, and as you can see, there's my video, and you can see how it has some black bars on the top and bottom there, but they're barely noticeable. You put some music on it in this page, come over here, put your description and tag people on it, you can change your cover. Right here, what this is, is what people see when they, uh, on your page. I set it there, they'll see that, if I set it there, they'll see that. So that's that's how you set that. So say that's pretty good. Down here at the bottom, you can say, do I want to send this off to my Instagram stories or just to Instagram? Do I want to share that in a message? I usually put on my stories and you just hit post and bada boom, your video is up on TikTok. So thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Drop a comment down below if you have a question or anything like that. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.